Hello and welcome to Teach Me English. Today we have a topic, The Rat Trap, a short story by Selma Legaloff. I found this story very interesting when I read it. And definitely it has a great moral value in it. We would learn about it when we would understand the story in detail. Let us now proceed further. Let us know about the author, her mind setup, and then we would proceed toward the story. Now. Selma Otiliana Lovisa Legroff was a Swedish author and she was even a teacher. This is the reason the story is based on moral value. She was born in the year 1858, that is a place that is Mabeka in Sweden. Her father's name was Eric Kastif Legroff and mother's name was Louise Legroff. Her first publish was Kostibelling Sega. The other works are also Invisible Links, Miracle of Antichrist, Jerusalem and many more. The most important theme of all her works is compassion and love. And what it does which can awaken the goodness in human. So this is, you can understand even the moral value or you can understand this is the theme of all her works. She received even the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1909 and unfortunately died in the year 1940. Let us see what has she written based on this compassion and love, which can change human mind, which can change human nature. Let us see further. We need to learn about the meanings first. Vagabond, a person who does not have any particular place to live, who, who is a wanderer, okay, from one place to another place, it, the person moves, wanders. Now, plot means walk slowly. You are very much tired and you are walking slowly, thinking something. Body and soul together. It means that somehow you manage your life. Anyhow. Pity even the small, which is not significant, insignificant. Now monotonous. Monotonous means something very much boring. A thing which you are repeating again and again, you get bored of it. Bait. A very common word, which we basically use when we uh, catch fish. So bait is anything to attract and trap or catch something. Unwanted. Not wanted. Unwanted means unaccustomed. You are not habituated of something. It means wants mean actually habit or habituated. That's what. So it is here unhabituated. Dreary, it means dark, colorless, no liveliness in it. A snare, other word for trap. Trudging, again walking slowly. You don't want to walk, reluctant to walk. Now porridge is a sweet dish, and that is which is prepared by using grain, milk, and water. It's called porridge here. In India, we call it key something. Crofter, very simple word. A person who works on land it means. Any work, maybe here the person is engaged uh, in some iron work, but any a person who works on land, maybe some agriculture work can be. Day labor, here it means, day labor here it means hard hard work, hard labor, day labor. Incredulous means you don't believe in something, means you're unable to believe, hmm? unbelievable. Now, impenetrable means that when it's a very simple word, I don't have to explain, not easy to penetrate, not easy to pierce into. Okay, summon means call someone. A smelter, here is a machine. What it does, it is melt, or you can say if it helps in melting of iron. Forge. Forge means a uh, furnace, means a place of heat where iron is melted. No. Barge. Barge means boats. Scows means boat, large boat. Pig iron means raw or crude iron. It means uh, the first form of the iron after which other uh, shape will be given to it and maybe some object will be prepared. Furnace, the meaning you have understood already. Anvil. Anvil means a large block. It, it is also made maybe of iron because here what happens here uh, the object uh, any object is being hammered and given shape below below is again a device for delivering pressurized air okay i think you must have uh, uh, maybe if you see the furnace there you could see that there is an object kept okay or you can see an instrument okay uh, the person pushes that instrument or object and air comes out and it increases the heat Shovel means to move or push something roughly where you don't have some gentleness in it. Now, uh, like when some objects are being pushed, like, you know. Maw means mouth. Suti is an adjective here. And anything which is uh, turned black because of the uh, black ashes. That is called suti. And, and you know the meaning of word suit, that is the black ash comes out of the fire. Haughty, arrogantly, it is tenfully. Tramp, again a wanderer, vagabond. Ragamuffin, again, same thing, uh, vagabond. No. 
acquaintance means a person whom you know already sneak away means that is uh, secretly do something to about know about some someone or something and conspicuously it means you're not noticed by anyone persuasion means here request downhill means the situation become very poor Poker pro, when you squeeze your forehead and your eyebrow uh, in suspicion, that is called a uh, poker pro. Now, dissimulate means that is uh, disguise. You're trying to cheat someone in disguise manner. Now, interceded against means a kind of request, pleading someone. Now, dejectedly means sad and disheartened, not happy with anything. Jagged means unevenly cut. Now let us move towards the story. Okay, very well. Let us first see the theme and some important literary terms used in uh, the story. Now, the first thing is the theme here. And the theme is based on compassion and faith in humanity. That is which we have seen earlier when I discussed you about the author. Here what we have seen. The rat trap sailor was really fallen in trap set by the circumstances and predicament in his life. And the problem in his life, so he started stealing. He was a rat trap seller, though he could not make his both ends. So he started his stealing or he became the thief. But we shall see very soon that his life was changed by a girl because she had shown kindness, compassion. She had given him a motive to become a good person. So he changed himself. Now, next is metaphor. Metaphor is actually a comparison, which we do. Here, actually, the whole story is a metaphor where the rat trap is actually compared to the world. And humans are compared to the rat and the lust of the world and the palms and the lights and the beauties of the world are all the pet which the world uses to trap us. Rat trap is a story of a person who sold rat traps and the traps were made of wire. And that wire from where did he get? By begging in the stores at the farm. Means from there he used to beg, ask them some wire and he used to make the rat trap to sell. But the problem is, by sailing rat trap, he could not make his both ends meet. Means he could not, it was not possible for him to uh, manage food for him, bread for him. So what he had done, therefore, he resolved to begging. Sometimes he used to beg even. And a small act of trivery, I means sometimes if uh, the situation is like that, if, if situation permitted him, he used to indulge in the act of trivery, means theft. But you can see that uh, you can definitely, really, the person was in a poor and rich condition. It could be seen by his appearance that his clothes were in rags, all torn, dirty even. His cheeks were sunken inside. Okay? And hunger gleamed in his eyes that if you saw his eyes, you would understand how hungry the man is, how great uh, appetite the man could have. So... Uh, definitely, while sailing his uh, rat traps, one day he uh, fell into a thought, a series of thoughts. What was that? That uh, the whole world, along with its land and water, is a rat trap. The whole world is a rat trap. That's what the theme here we have seen. And the riches and joys. Here, the shelter and food, heat and clothing, all these are bait. An object to attract you. So that you you would fall prey of that situation and you would be trapped. Okay. That to catch the rat, which here the rats are humans, and their lust for material world made them trap in the what called the world, and they won't be able to come out from there. He himself fell in the trap because of his petty needs and requirements. What happened one day, one evening, definitely he was begging. One evening, he noticed there was a small cottage along the roadside. So he thought it's evening. So he went to the door to ask for an arm. And the door was opened by an old man as was appeared. The man had no family. The old man had no family. So it was definitely a matter of uh, great joy for the old man to have someone who could spend time with him. So the, the old man welcomed the visitor, means that uh, peddler, the beggar, the rat trap seller. And the old man was very happy. Okay. Both of them had a good talk. The old man did not have anyone at his home. So he got a partner to talk about his life, to talk, to talk about whatever the thing he had faced. Uh, immediately what he had done, he prepared porridge for their supper. And the peddler was a beggar and a, in a very rich condition. He really got a good opportunity to uh, eat to his fill. And the old man, he carved out a big slice of tobacco roll even. So what more that peddler would desire? 
even he got supper the last one of the day and even he got the taste of tobacco both of them played the game mayolis a card game okay. the old man told everything about his life he told him that during his youth he was a crofter a person who used to work on land where at ramsdale i'd work okay. but due to his old age and weakness he had left that hard labor he left it hard labor and now what had he had a cow and the cow um, provided him uh, um, the amount of milk which he could sell for creamery and he lived a good life and the man even had shown the peddler you understand the peddler is a beggar and the peddler is even a thief okay now the man had shown that rat trap seller that peddler three wrinkle 10 kronor bills it's the money okay right here it's in the currency 10 the kronor, kronor is a currency okay it means 30 kronor it means imagine 30 rupees if you, if you can take it and that man had shown that the man had kept that money in a leather pouch and that leather pouch what had happened hung on a nail in the window frame okay inside the inside the house the man was so innocent that to the uh, what called to the stranger even he had shown his uh, uh, what called the wealth 30 crore though it's very less uh, it could be it sounds like 30 crore bill it sounds so less for us but uh, it was a great money for that man that old man uh, because he was just a single man there leaving his uh, life and he was counting his days so it was a great wealth for him so he had shown him that wealth that which was hanging where on his window frame now the morning appeared both the peddler means the rat trap seller and the old man both of them went out of the home the man had gone for his work and peddler for his selling purpose half an hour later half an hour later the peddler came back to the man the old man's house okay the seller returned to the cottage and what he did he stole the bills smashing the window pane oh so sad he smashed the window pane he broke into the house and he stole that 30 kronor bills so what he would do he uh, immediately ran away from there he avoided the public highway if he could be caught there he took the forest to escape as a fugitive but he was confused and trapped in the forest which he realized that this forest has become a trap a rat trap for him and he became the rat at that time he realized okay so he said his last for the worldly things and his habit of stealing had put him into a trap in the forest with the branches thickets logs everything became the rat trap for him he could not understand where to move or where to go he was in utter confusion and that was the month of december the failure to understand the weather is so cold outside darkness prevail all over the forest and he was literally succumbing to death he thought it was the last time for him he thought that he would die in that forest because he could not get any way out of the forest he was unable to bear that cold that coldness so when he actually what happened that he sat down and he lied on the ground so he heard the thumping sound of the hammer so he understood that there must be some iron mill nearby he gathered his strength and staggering means not moving properly he came to uh, that Ramsdor ironworks the man told the old man told he used to work there so it was nearby he came to that place and it was a large means iron plant a large plant means iron plant with a smelter the machine which is to melt the iron okay? rolling mills forge it's a big big plant a huge plant it was during summer uh, the heavily loaded barges and cows slid down the canal means carrying the iron load okay there was there was there was a canal and carrying the iron load the barges and his cows um, they move the throughout the whole day from one place to another and during winter the roads near the mill were covered with black coal dust it means during summer they use waterways and during winter because there might be no water so they use the roadways okay now so when he entered without being noticed by anyone okay blacksmith and his helper both were sitting near the furnace they were smelting the pig iron to transform it into some shape and perspiring 
in that situation even because inside they were near the hearth means near the furnace a burning place okay so they were perspiring the groaning sound of the big billows when it produces air cracking sound of the burning coal because the coal is used for the producing uh, heat clattering sound of the furnace because the coal is there and roaring sound of waterfall outside and the pattering sound of the rain on the tiled roof at that time it was raining even so taking the advantage of this deafening sound there no one could hear anything in that place so what happened that man means that pet and the rat trap seller like uh, like a vagabond like a tram he entered inside the forge okay inside that what called the mill and he took a place near the furnace because he could get heat there okay he tried to warm himself there our master the owner of that mill he had the habit of uh, coming to that mill frequently day and night so that he could have eyes on the people there and the work iron master he had visited his mill that day even at that time of the night even okay he had his wife elizabeth and she was no more she died he had even uh, sons and they were abroad not they don't uh, they don't live with him who lived with him only his oldest daughter that is edla wilmanson the iron master who had come to his um, Ramjo's iron work, he found that flag muffin there. And he could see that the man was one of his acquaintance, Captain Von Stalley. And he addressed him with the name. And uh, that man was, that uh, man means the peddler was perplexed, confused that he had never seen that man before. He was in utter confusion that what was happening with him. Okay. But he did not want to reveal about himself. Means the peddler, when he had found that the iron master recognized him as one of his acquaintance, Captain Von Stelly. This man, this peddler, he did not hear reveal that he was not that man. Why? He thought that the iron master might offer him a couple of corner bills in a situation. Uh, having pity on him, he could give him some uh, corner bills. So it would be uh, helpful for him. He would take it and leave the place. But the iron master was of different mood at the time. Iron Master told that it was uh, that man, means the peddler, he said that it was your fault only. Recognizing him, considering him as a uh, captain, okay, he said, Captain Von Stary, it is your fault that you resigned from the post, you left the place, regiment, and I could not do anything for you even, and that is why you are in this situation. It was told by Iron Master to, to that peddler. No. Then what happened in any case he said okay he, he told him that okay he offered means the, the iron master offered him to come to his mansion manor house he told you come to my home since he knew him so he offered him to come to his home the peddler was literally afraid why he thought this man he belonged to some regiment means must be an officer it was like entering into a lion's den it was like entering into a lion's den okay that you offered yourself to the lion he was a man who might be an officer sometime and if he would uh, catch him, if he would come to know about him that he was a thief, oh, it would be a great danger for him. So he refused. He declined the proposal okay, because he held that 30 colonel bills stolen from the house of the old man. So he was, he was afraid that he was a thief and he had that proofs with him. The iron master left the forge and he asked his what called blacksmith. He's the blacksmith who was working there. The name of the blacksmith is Scanstrom, and he, he told him that to take care of his guest. After some time, his daughter came, that is Wilmanson. She came. She came. She was not pretty, but quite shy. She was quite shy. She came with a walai, means a person in attendant, who used to carry your important things with you. Okay, now, so she came with her an, an attendant, means a walai. And that man, that particular man, he carried a big fur coat for that peddler, for the rat trap seller. Okay, and the rat trap seller did not refuse her. The girl gave the assurance that there would be no harm done to him, because it was a Christmas time, and she implored, requested him in such an amicable, men's friendly manner that that he could not refuse her, and he went to her home in that manor house, in, in that mansion. Iron Master was very much concerned about the peddler and he told his daughter even to take care of the peddler well and even he thought that they must do something for him so that he would not run around selling the rat traps again. He must do something. They would do something for him that he would uh, start a new career for himself because they thought that 
he was not a peddler he was not a rat trap he was not a thief they thought he was captain von Stelly. that's why and so what happened uh, they asked one of the valet to uh, clean that uh, rat trap cellar and it happened even the valet cut his hair the valet shaved him so the valet made him a gentleman and when he and, and he and he gave him white shirt with starch collar and whole shoes for him to wear like earlier he was wearing the half shoes the torn shoes okay so now it's whole shoes okay the I, it must be I whole shoe means it's a boot okay he he wore the iron master saw that peddler that iron that rat trap sailor in the good look and instantly he recognized that the rat trap sailor whom he thought to be captain von Stelly, was actually not that man means he understood that he had uh, wrongly recognized him uh, to be captain von Stelly. okay he understood that he was not his old acquaintance and the iron master became angry at him he told him that he would call uh, the sheriff but that was not right but that was not right uh, for the iron master to behave uh, with that person whom he had insisted to come to his home whereas the peddler in the rat trap seller he did not want to go to his he just wanted to spend his night uh, in that iron mill so that he would get there uh, warmed and he would sleep but it was the iron master who forced him who sent his daughter to bring him to home so it was not the fault of that rat trap sailor that's why the peddler the rat trap sailor he was agitated and hotly angrily remarked that the whole world is a rat trap as he was trapped today as he, as the rat trap sailor he he said that as he was trapped today by the iron master okay he had forced him to come to his home so he was trapped here by the iron master similarly one day it would come that iron master would be trapped too he told this he gave this lecture to the iron master though it did not affect him the iron master told the um, peddler to leave the house immediately so the iron master sent him out but his daughter pleaded him to keep the peddler home why why because it was the christmas eve her brother they were abroad uh, she had already lost her mother so so generally they uh, did not uh, get anyone any guests any relatives in their home in their house in their mansion so she wanted him to keep and she told him that she wanted to serve a person who was actually neglected definitely he was neglected he was a poor man he was a beggar neglected and hated by the people so she wanted to serve that person she wanted to make his life easy for at least one day a life of comfort so the iron master he accepted that request and they offered him to eat the peddler ate to his fill and he slept the whole day of the christmas eve he just ate and slept this two works he did there okay what happened he aroused at uh, noon for lunch and again he went to sleep after the lunch at evening for the lightning of the christmas light and then again he went to sleep at night he was again awakened for dinner on what what he would have he would have christmas fish and porridge the girl told that the, the suit he was wearing okay he was wearing as the christmas gift from the iron master okay and she asked him to keep it and she asked even that he could come on every christmas to relish good food and sound sleep every christmas he could come at least one day he could leave a peaceful life life of comfort she had made this offer to him though again after all these things he immediately went to the room and slept next morning he was still sleeping the father and the daughter they went to the church in the church they came to know that there was a rat trap sailor who was a thief and he had stolen 30 corner notes of an old crofter and they understood that it must be the same rat trap seller whom they had served the previous day when they reached home what they found the rat trap seller had already gone already left the home instead of stealing anything from the mansion he left behind a gift for the young girl for that well mentioned that was a, a small rat trap and into the rat trap there were three wrinkled ten corner notes means that money which he had stolen from the house of the old man he kept it inside and even a letter inside so the girl was very much happy she had received the gift from the man whom she had served so it was like a christmas gift from the god because it is a belief when you serve someone literally generally a poor person okay when you serve some poor person a rich person you actually serve the god and in return if you get the gift it is the gift given by the god the girl 
opened the letter and in the letter she could find that she was admired for her courtesy and he mentioned that since she addressed him as a captain captain von stanik he wrote there he wrote there that since that that uh, young girl she had addressed him as a captain and she had even behaved with him as it should be behaved to a captain so uh, receiving such behavior okay so receiving such behavior he what he had written that he had quitted the act of thievery he gifted her a rat trap to remind her that like a rat he was also caught in the world's trap it was it was she the young girl that is well mentioned okay who had raised him to a captain means to the status of a captain okay and that gave him enough strength to rescue himself from such a trap means the love and compassion which well mentioned means that the young girl the daughter of the iron master that she had shown to this rat trap seller that compassion and love and the courage had completely changed his mind his character his nature and at the end the story ends in an irony when the rat trap seller he signed at the last the counter sign which he made at the last with the name captain von stelly and the story ends here ends here to the utter surprise of the family member of um, iron master and also to the readers who must have thought what had happened the kindness and love had changed an evil character to a good one compassion and love of the lady had changed a thief to the status of a captain so i must take my leave we would meet again with another story till then goodbye thank you very much